Hey guys, it's me, Nikki, and uh, today was a really great day. Um, so, <clears throat> to start off, I woke up, and I had an omelet, one egg, with one ounce of cheese, which is a lot, but that's okay, and um, no toast, and a grapefruit, and some strawberries, and so I got all my fruit in for the day, so I feel really good and energized. That's actually pretty much the only thing I ate today, because I'm not very hungry. Um, but anyway, so I did that, and then my husband and I went for a walk, and we walked for about 25 minutes or so to get some bread, and then we came back, and um, then I went to Zumba, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically <clears throat> like an aerobic workout that you... Uh, that you do all sorts of different dance moves like um, samba and merengue and um, African style dancing and all these different dances and it's really fun and a really good workout and I was sweating like crazy and I look pretty bad right now because I just went straight from the shower in there and so now I'm all Bleh. but anyway so that was awesome and then after class I went upstairs to the weight room and weighed myself and I am proud to say I am down 10 pounds since I started, so I'm down to 268, which is awesome! I'm so excited! Woohoo! So I only have 68 pounds to go to reach my goal, so it doesn't seem like quite so much anymore. So I'm really excited about that. So, great day overall. And then um, after that, I went to the shoe store, the running room, which is our local sort of all runners go here headquarters. And, <clears throat> pardon me, I have a bit of a sore throat. Um, I got these new sneakers. New sneakers. Look how pretty they are. They're like pink inside. So cool. And, um,. So they're awesome and they're really comfy. So I'm hoping they're gonna solve that uh, foot cramping when I'm running problem that I was having. Uh, my old shoes were really bad, so these are gonna be a lot better. Um, so I'll let you know tomorrow what those are like. I think I'm gonna end up making these every day because it just seems to work for me. Maybe not so much when I'm in classes, but we'll see. Um, and my husband was so sweet, he wanted to help support me a little bit, so he bought me this. Can you see it? Yes, you can. Okay, so what this is, is basically a running transmitter. So, <clears throat> you attach this piece to your iPod, which so many people have one, so it's pretty relevant. Um, you attach that part to your iPod, and you tie this part to your shoe, and it's got a little clip, so you can just, like, clip it on, and that goes over, and you tie it around. And, um, so it keeps track of your calories, it ke keeps track of your distance, it tells you when it's time for you to change exercises, like, if you're, if you're, um, doing a brisk walk, and then you want to run, it tells you, okay, you've done a brisk walk for this many seconds, time for you to start running, so then you start running. So that's really neat. I can't wait to try it out tomorrow. So I'm going to do that. And yeah. So great day overall. Um, I'm really, really low on my calories today. So I'm going to have to eat a lot tonight. But I don't really feel like eating. I'm not hungry at all. Um, I had tea and toast for lunch. Because I was just not feeling like eating. But I need to eat. I know I need to eat. I can't not eat just because I'm not hungry. I need to. I need to. Um, I gotta keep my 1200 calories or else I'm gonna be burnt out and it's not worth it. So, um, yeah, sorry for the really ugly hair and no makeup. Um, but that's, uh, that's what happens when you go to the gym. You don't really always have time for makeup. Um, so, great job to everybody who's doing this along with me and guys I want to say this because it's been bothering me for a while now um Shay is awesome he's a great guy and he's so inspiring and he is really leading this health movement for so many people but 
don't forget that he is not a doctor. He cannot tell you what is right for you and your body. And the fact is, is that for some people, eating all raw is not a good choice. You're going to feel down, you're going to feel cranky, and then you're going to binge. Especially for people who are like emotional eaters, it's really not a good thing to do. Um, you need to make sure that you're getting enough nutrients and you're getting enough, uh, you know, food in your belly that you're not hungry all day long. Because believe me, when you're that hungry and then you go past McDonald's and you smell it and you're like, oh, that smells good, you're going to have a hard time saying, no, I'm not eating that. So do what's right for you, not what's right for Shay, because it's different for everybody. Um, for me, that means eating meat and sometimes eating bread, and that's just what it is. And it's working for me so far. I've lost 10 pounds, so, you know... <laughs> Started at 278, down to 268 in two weeks. So if I can do it, you can do it. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, bye!